Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This person's vehicle is off to the scrapyard after it was found to be unsafe to drive, and this is how the rear cross member was held together. Turn off. Then we got some piping. We got a exhaust clamp. Then we come over here. I don't know what these are. <laughs> Customer states, ever since their husband installed new brakes and calipers, their brakes make a loud noise. The technician found that whoever installed the new brakes somehow left the old brake pad between the backing plate and rotor. Customer states they have a clicking noise when braking. The technician said it was more of a thumping noise, but this is what he found. That'll do it. And this customer came in as the airbag light is on. The technician found a scarf that was tied to the steering wheel and wrapped around the clock spring, causing it to tangle on turns and create static that interfered with the clock spring. Customer states, radio goes blank. Now after I program the radio. It thinks it's a Cadillac. The squatted truck came in as a customer says they have a bad vibration and it's all over the road. The mechanic found it to have a couple broken leaf springs. The leaf spring blocks were installed on top of the leaf springs. It had the wrong shocks, a bad U-joint, and it was missing the fill plug for the differential. And then your U-joint is completely... And now on top of that, your rear end is probably... Because you left the plug out. And this vehicle came in for a brake inspection. The technician said the customer approved all the repairs. It's quality right there. The last time this vehicle came in, the shop recommended new brakes and a wheel bearing. The customer declined repairs and installed new brakes himself, but never installed a new wheel bearing. And this customer came in as they still have an exhaust leak after they tried fixing it themselves. The technician found that the customer had cut the frame to remove the exhaust manifold and only installed a new gasket. But it did not fix the issue as the exhaust manifold is warped. I seriously have no idea how these people did not crash on their way to the shop today. Look at this. That one's almost completely out. This one's missing. Customer states, rear left door does not work properly. Um, yep. Welcome to Massachusetts. Long story short, this customer said they installed a new blower motor themselves and it could not be the issue they were having. The technician found that they installed a wrong blower motor and used fencing wire to try and hold it in place. What if I told you that on the back of this truck was a picture on the tailgate of the truck with a painted tailgate with the truck with the painted tailgate? I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.